Well, I've been doing lots of exploring, and I failed to find this fucking area. And ugh, fucking mole rats. Eh. They're just annoying at this point. Ah, but all that killing has got me one more level. But first, I'm going to go to the uh, go back to the barnyard, and uh, I I think that the the fucking um, the place I need to get to must be. I mean the the uh, the gun runners. They must be in this town area type thing. Even though I can't fucking find where. It's annoying. But I've got to level up, so let's level up. Aha! And let's see. What should we get? Well, none of the other perks look that interesting, so I'm just going to go with another educated. And uh, that gives me more skill points. So let's put some into energy weapons, because I'd quite like to start using them soon. And uh, I'm not really sure anything else. I seem to be managing to pick every lockpick. I don't use sneak. My first aid is okay. Science is high and I never use it. Speech, but okay, I think, yeah. I think I'm just going to put it all into guns. Energy weapons. There we go. Okay. Now, what am I doing? Looking for this fucking uh, place. Damn it. I'm sure you're all screaming at the screen by now. Right, okay. That's annoying. I spent all that time searching and it was just right over here to the right. God damn it. Oh god, there's a death lord. Okay, 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 calm down. Don't panic. Um, I've dealt with these before. Haven't I? Yes. <laughs> well, at least all that trolling around got me some, uh, got me another experience level, which could be quite vital. Uh, right, let's see. Now they have heavy armor, don't they? Uh, so maybe let's just mm. no. Let's let's keep the flamer because that's awesome. And Vera, yeah. Wait a minute. It's, yeah, Vera still does more damage. I think anyway, it's longer range. So I'm gonna try, if I go into sneak, does that get me some? Can I sneak, please? Uh, okay, I can't sneak. Why doesn't it let me sneak? Sneak. I'm bringing up the thing. Alright, whatever. Now let's try to kill this death law. Hmm. Go for the... Yeah, let's, let's take a chance and go for the eyes. Missed. Oh, that could cost me. And here it comes. Ian, what are you doing? I have given you stuff. I have given you guns and weapons and... Now I could use the flamethrower, but I'll hit dog meat for God's sake. The eyes. 44, that's kind of good. Okay, let's, let's try to move a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll piss him off. Ooh. Go on. Go on, dog meat. You courageous bastard. <laughs> He's really going for it. Okay, my turn. The eyes again. 45 hit points, slipping past the huge claws. <laughs> oh dear. Where oh, hurt is. This point. Dogmeat gets a lot of attacks. He's not even attacking back. He's severely wounded. Awesome. 75 hit points. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Good one, Ian. Now next time, use a gun. You knob. Yeah, uh, draw your best weapon next time. Thank you. Now, these guys don't drop anything, do they? No. Thousand experience points, though. That's good. Okay. I can't believe I did all that exploring for nothing. <laughs> well, not for nothing, but, you know. Poster. It's a movie poster from oh, for a horror film from pre-war days. I mean, really? It's like, hmm. how's that survived that long? It's dark in here. Is this? Oh, 
thought this might be the place of the gun runners, but it's empty. And there's that. Oh, reload. Now, go back into. It won't let me sneak. Oh, I am walking, but. Let's not bring up the little sneak thing. Ah, shit. Oh dear. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Uh, alright. Flame time. Burn, motherfucker! Oh, I, I can't use this weapon properly. It's too damn heavy as well. Ian, don't tell me you're going to use a knife again. I have given you shitloads of ammo. You're basically holding all of mine because I can't carry it all because this flamer is so damn heavy. Oh, damn, I'm getting really badly hurt. Yes. Ugh. Now, let's see. How badly hurt is this death law? Wound, just wounded. So do I risk going into... Uh, oh shit! Uh, let's just fucking kill it. Yes! 46. Uh, stop hitting me! Hit some of the other guys! I was killed! Ow! Oh. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. Crap, and I forgot to load from the fucking... Arrgh. I mean, I forgot to save the damn thing before I... Alright. Let's just try this. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. Okay. Shotgun's pretty good for that, it seems. Uh, now I shall save. And uh trying to get this kind of get the drop on that other um death law. Yeah. You may be the death claw, but I am the death gun or something yeah there he is I wonder how long range I get on this thing let's find out yeah that much wicked and I hit him not for much damage but still oh Ian I forgot to tell him to use a decent weapon why should I have to tell him that there's a death claw there and he's like I'm gonna go up with a, with a knife got all these guns in my pockets but fuck it Ugh. 80 hit points, good. There we go. These guys are basically dealing no damage, but still, I am. Now, draw your best weapon next time. Okay, I mean, look at what he's got. You know, he's got that. That's, all, that's at, least, at least a gun. He's got all this ammo. He's got a Desert Eagle. He's got the fucking 14mm pistol and tons of armor piercing ammo for it, and he's using the damn knife knob. I wish they keep telling him to use it. Okay, right. Uh, save, and then... Let's see if we can find the gun runners. Can't even remember why. Oh yeah, so I can get guns. Is it this way? Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what that is. <laughs> this motive snot. Okay, maybe I should put my gun away. Yeah. I hope these idiots don't just walk into. It. Oh. Dead body. It looks as if this person died very painfully. It almost looks like he's wearing a vault outfit. Ah, <laughs> this is this wooden plank. What is your business here? I want to buy some weapons. Ah, very good. Customers are always welcome. Come in, but keep your weapons holstered. Go find Zack. He can set you up with anything you need. Okay, now, can I... 
I really hope these AI idiots will be careful. Okay, well done. Now, dog meat. Yeah. Dog meets boy. I mean, dog. Oh, gun runners. Yeah. Cool. Okay. A gun runner. Hi, I'm Zach. You want to buy weapons? Let's see what you have to trade. Can you give me a discount? Yeah, well, until Gabriel says so, you got to pay full price like everyone else. Show me what you have anyway. Okay, let's see. Mm, rockets, nice. Lots of ammo. What's that? A grenade, plasma grenade. Plasma rifle. Minigun. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, what's that? Power fist. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. Oh, a ripper. <gasps> That's wicked. Yeah. I should get one of them for Ian. Because he seems to cut like using his knife. Let's see how much these things are. Oops. Ripper is a thousand. Uh, which is the power glove. See, that's like for um, unarmed skill. But, you know. Minigun. I mean, the thing is, I, can't, I don't have the strength to even carry these things. But, yeah, just one will do. How much is that? Ooh, maybe I should swap that for my flamer. That seems like it kind of would be cool. But it sounds like I can get a discount if I uh, talk to somebody and do a job for him first. So, typical gun runner, typical gun runner, typical gun runner, typical gun runner, typical gun runner. Zach sells the weapons. It's not often that we get visitors. How can I help you? Why don't you get many visitors? place isn't very accessible with the Nestler's damn death laws right outside our factory. You guys seem fairly well armed. Why don't you go and exterminate them? We've gone over there and taken out a few, but we're always, they always seem to come back. Besides, we're machinists, not fighters. What would you give me if I went in there and took care of them for you? If you could get rid of the death laws once and for all, you could name your price. Well, wow. um, hmm. I need weapons and ammunition, lots of it. Now, but should I say that I want to help out the blades? I don't know yet. Hmm. I still haven't really found out what... I mean, this... Mm, yeah. Okay, I'd just tell them I want weapons. If you clear out the area, we'll be leaving. We'll leave behind more weapons and ammunition than you could possibly use. Uh, hmm. I'll have to think about it. And that's just make sure I can ask him again and let's see what is it you do here we manufacture weapons and ammunition we've been at this for the last 30 years but the last 10 have been hell why is that we stripped the area surrounding our factory of all the scrap vessels that were left after the war now we have to rely on Adtium to, uh, to supply us with raw materials it's Aditum Aditum not Adtium but ad Aditum sounds Adit ad aditum? That sounds terrible. What's so bad about aditum and ad team supplying you with your weapons, your materials? At first it was fine. They supplied us with raw materials. We manufactured and sold the weapons. Then three years ago, Zimmerman hired some mercenaries to help protect. I'm going to keep calling it ad team. From the death law. And the old random attack by raiders. Those regulators are cold hearted bastards and they're squeezing us for all we have. We make the guns and they get rich off it. Hmm, why don't you just leave and set up somewhere else? We would if we could, but moving is a major undertaking with all the lathes and mills. There are things that can't just be picked up and easily moved. We could move, but the death law makes it impossible. Yeah, okay, I'm not... Okay, I have some friends that could really use your weapons. You clear out the death law, all of them, and you have yourself a deal. I'll have to think about it. Okay, so I can, I can, I can ask... I can decide later where I want the stuff to go. Some guy fell in the moat once, what a horrible way to go. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> You'd think that having all this radiation just right there. I mean, the stuff, it's, it radiates, you know, that's the whole point. It, it's not like, it's not like it's just in the moat. It's not like poison, it's fucking emitting. I mean, if it, if it glows that much, that's fucking radioactive. Yeah. Okay. I guess there's no actual danger of walking straight into it, you know, 
because it won't even let you see. Okay, so I need to go back to the town and figure out what the right thing to do is.